busy, busy bees. My mom is in town, so we decided to go south and head to Orange County to Little Saigon for some Vietnamese food. And I'm taking her to one of my favorite Vietnamese restaurants, Brodard, here in Garden Grove. We are at the Mall of Fortune where there's a ton of other restaurants and places to go, but I am so excited to share with you my favorite Vietnamese restaurants. Well, let's go. To the left of me is 85 Degrees Cafe. I think this must be fairly new because I've never seen it before, but it has been five years, about five years since I've been back. So, I got a ton of macarons. I went a little overboard, one of almost every flavor. Here's a fruity pebble, I have a lychee, sesame chestnut, vanilla lavender, vanilla rose, a Thai tea, a pistachio, coconut, taro, and salted caramel, and then mango on top. So excited! So I'm looking at the menu and I've already pre-ordered three orders of the Nim Noon Spring Rolls. It's what they're famous for. It's grilled pork sausage with like a crispy wonton rolls in the middle. So good. And they said that it takes like 40 minutes for them to prepare because there's like a huge line out there. So I've already pre-ordered it. I'm gonna eat my food and then go pick that up to enjoy later. Uh, the last time I was here, oh it was five years ago. It was with my mom and dad actually. Uh, we were going on like a family trip and it was the first time I took my parents here and they liked it a lot. This is Nemunkung, which is what they're really famous for. And then this is Bobbie, which is like there's egg and there's Chinese sausage in there. It's super delicious. And then Nate got a chow mein with beef. and the grilled pork is so good. This isn't like your normal one with the noodles inside. It's nice and fresh. My favorite. It's like a must-have at any Vietnamese restaurant. Strong. Next up, this is called a Luna cake. It's called Ban Kok in uh, Vietnamese. It's a little cake with a kind of like Ban Seo batter, but it's small. There's mung beans and then there's shrimp. And how you eat it is with a lettuce wrap. So I grab a piece of lettuce, add some herbs, I like mint and then a shiso leaf. It's really fragrant. It's really good. And then I add my little dumpling. Some pickled daikon and carrots. Wrap it up. Dip it into the sauce. Coconut milk, so you really get a hint of that coconut milk through. 
It's absolutely delicious. This is the perfect appetizer to start off your meal. So they don't bring the food all out at once and uh, everyone's finished eating. My bowl hasn't come yet, but that's okay. I'll let the rest of this food digest. Mom, don't do that. I think I see it. This dish is called Meyithin, which means... No, big black. Hey, I ordered Meyithin, Mom. No, big black. Meyithin. No, big black. I ordered the wrong dish. It is. Yeah, but it's on the same day. Really? Okay, so I thought I was going to order a duck noodle. Pretty much with like egg noodles and uh, it's from the central region also, but I probably, my Vietnamese isn't very good so I ordered the wrong dish. Either way, this is also delicious. This is a turmeric noodle with some spare ribs. Um, it's from the central region. They specialize in very like delicious, stewy, uh, flavorful noodles. This is kind of like thick pho noodles, thick rice noodles that they soaked in turmeric so that's why it got that yellow color. And then there's a lot of meat in here. This is like pork ribs that they stewed for hours and hours so it pretty much falls off the bone. This is comfort food right here. Although, I have to be honest, I still wish I ordered the right dish for my duck noodle soup next time. <laughs> I also love to add veggies to my soups. It just lightens everything up. We ordered way too much food and um, couldn't finish everything, so I'm gonna take this home. My mom couldn't finish her udon, so I'm probably gonna eat it later. This is an ao yai that I wanna get for Erisi when she turns one. Um, for her first birthday, actually, I want to get her one ao yai and one hanbok, which is the Korean uh, dress, traditional dress, and we're going to swap them out uh, during her birthday party, but how adorable is it? It's sheer, but at the bottom you wear pants underneath it, like that, and it's going to be so beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to get this for her. It's either this one or this one. This one is the more traditional one with the long sleeve and the high neck, but this one is a little bit more fashion and modern. I kind of love this one, but I kind of love the pink, so. My mom thinks this will be more comfortable for baby, so I think I'll get this one. So that was our little Vietnamese eating adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed the dishes or watching it on screen. Let me know what your favorite Vietnamese dishes are and where your favorite Vietnamese restaurant is and hopefully I can go check it out soon. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!